We are talking about some very disturbing content today. Fresh. Hi. Oh, hey there. Hi, I'm Jared, the subway guy. The subway guy. Just Jared's fine. And this is my story. In 1998, I weighed over 425 pounds. Inspired by Subway's low-fat sandwiches, he invented a diet of his own. At the heart of Jared's routine are Subway sandwiches. Hey, Jared. Jared claimed to have lost 245 pounds in one year and got very, very rich. <laughs> then he gets married, he has children, he has a beautiful home. And even more reason to pass on better eating habits to young people everywhere. Young, young people, people everywhere. everywhere. Young, young people, people everywhere. everywhere. I brought in a present for you. His famous pants. This is the old uh, pair of pants that I used to wear. It's, it's a great visual aid, and especially when I'm talking to kids, you know, I speak to children all over the country and actually all over the world now. I come down to New Orleans for like two or three days at a time. And when they see the old pair of pants, they just sort of... My big thing was never smoking. It was never drinking. Obviously, it wasn't doing drugs. My big vice was fucking, fucking children. children. I'm hungry! This is a call received from Jared Fogo. Hello? Hey. Hi. The kids are smarter than they ever have been. They have access to more information, like the internet, uh, to find things out and to... Um, yeah, they want to look good. They want to feel good. So they enjoy it, you think? Uh-huh. You know, I really could wind up in Jared's little pair of pants. I love the middle school and the girls are starting to get you know? This is my daughter, Victoria. She's an eighth grade honor student. Very tempting, right? Yeah, actually, all in moderation. Right? All in moderation. And um, she she was real tiny when she was littler. Sure. Little tiny, little tiny you know. And, and kids are not always kind. No. no. I think that girl from the broken home could be possibility, you know? Just, we're just chilling, having sandwiches on the couch, and uh, just talking about subways. That's a lot of fun. You know, I travel almost 200 days a year as part of my job and as part of what I do with Subway, so I have to be obviously pretty careful, especially when you're on the road. Part of it was in different countries where it's, you know, a lot more accepted. What was your first time? And with who? It was probably in Thailand, I guess. What I try to tell kids is that you are, there's never going to be a better time in your life than the moment right now. Will you let me see your kids naked? I definitely want to see your kids naked, too. Okay. So what's your kids do you think I'll like better seeing naked? 10 and 11? Yeah. You should really be eating fresh too, you know. You can be the bun. Hey, I like chicken too. And I can be the burger girl. Eat fresh. I know you want to do it. Less fat. So we can make sandwiches. Less fat. So make your thighs like butter, easy to spread. And we can make sandwiches. Life is good. Out here on the dance floor. I've spent the last 17 years talking about how Subway has changed my life and what it can do for others. I want to be doing this for the next 17 years. Bombshell tonight. Police investigators raid the home of Subway sandwich superstar, Pitchman Jared. The Pitchman, known as Jared, is under investigation for what appears to be a child pornography case. Jared the Subway guy. Hi. So we were just wondering, is it true? Yeah, it's true, but who wants to know? Remember Jared from Subway? He's inspired a lot of people. He's looking good to show you the way. His name is Jared. Of course it's true. Just made poor choices my whole life. There's always excuses, you know? You can always have a million excuses out there, but you just gotta finally put up and just do it. And any man who hits on a little girl underage, and I find out about it. Who can say where the road Give you a meal. That's a That's like 50 degrees today, which is not too bad for us. I mean, we were really cold. Like last week tonight, mm -hmm. it was negative 10. What's going on during that conversation? <laughs> I miss the old Jared. Stay tuned for Once Upon a Time next. Eat fresh.